So I'm very pleased to let you know that we've made some more improvements to the FastBots platform and we've got some really exciting new features and many of these new features have come from ideas and voting of our users, which is the best place to get ideas for new features. So the first one then is lead form triggers. And the way that we access this, if we go to our appearance, we've got the ability to switch on a lead form. And we've recently added the ability to add custom fields as well. You can see that feature is just down there. So you can add more than these uh, standard fields. But up here now, we've got choices. So we can show the lead form at the beginning of the chat. So in other words, someone can't even start a chat until they've completed the lead form, which is very, very useful. Um, we use that on FastBots and collect hundreds and hundreds of leads that way. But now we have advanced lead triggers. So if we just click on there, we can now choose that if the user says a specific word, such as, as it says there, pricing or book, let's just put quote, um, then if the user says that word, quote, it will display the lead form. You can also add another keyword and you can say, like if the chatbot says a uh, book, for example, then it would show the form as well. So in this instance, you can see we've got an or there. So if the bot message uh, contains quote or book, then show the lead form. So you can actually only do one at a time. So you will have to pick like, you know, is it going to be the user message that you work from or the bot message? And then if, for example, the, the user comes along and they do not use either of these words, but you know, you want to show that lead form regardless, then you can do that just here down the bottom and have a default. So you can say, you know, if there was like eight messages between the, uh, the chatbot and the user, and that form still did not show up, then that's fine. It will just quickly show the form anyway. Or you can just say, no, I really don't want that form to show unless uh, they have, um, matched these lead form triggers. Please note as well up here, we've got or, or, and. So you could have it that the message from the, the bot or the user has to contain both words rather than one or the other. So that is the new lead form trigger feature, which is fantastic. Let's just delete this off and I'll just quickly uh, show you how that works. So if we just click save now, and we'll go to the front end of the site here and we'll just try this lead form triggers now. And if I just type in, say, hi, it will come up with its response. And incidentally, you can now uh, copy the response. So if one of your users has been given a really great answer by your chatbot and they want to keep that answer, they're able to just quickly click on there and click copy. And now they've got that saved and they can just paste it into notes or something on their own computer. And now if I mention the word quote, um, can I have a quote for a custom funnel? Here we go. And I haven't adjusted the prompt at this point. So um, there we go. So it's it said this uh, message here, but ignore that because I would adjust my prompt to change that message. And there is our lead form. So it's picked out the word quote and it's it's now presented the lead form. And of course, you've got full control over what this says and all of the fields contained within it. So there's two very useful features. Now, the third useful feature is the ability for a user, me, the chatbot user here, to click on these three dots and then go and see any chats that I've had with this chatbot over the last few days or weeks. And you can see we've got them all here. They can just go ahead and delete them anytime they want to. But if they want to refer back to a previous conversation, then there it is for them like that. Very, very simple and easy to use. And they can also just clear the current chat just by pressing on those three dots. Now that does not remove the chat for you when they delete it. You will still have that in your chat history as usual uh, right here. So very, very straightforward. And now um, another update which we have is this one. We've now updated uh, the LLMs. So just here now we've got the very latest of the Google models. We've got uh, two flash. 2.5 Flash and 2.5 Pro instead of the preview versions of those models. These are the final production ready, uh, fantastic uh, models. Very, very intelligent. 
And then perhaps the biggest update of all is this one. This is test your bot. Now, when you're first setting up your chatbot, you might like to try the different AI models to see which one gives you the best responses. Well, how do you do that? Previously, you used to have to come to here in the overview, type in a message, press send, then go back to tune your AI and then pick another model and then try again. And obviously that takes an awful lot of time. So we've made it much faster for you now because we can add in four different models at a time and we can just go up to here we can change the model let's say we want to try um, 0 for 0 4 or 40 mini in this one here then we want to try something different entirely and let's go with Claude uh, Sonnet just there and then over here we want to see how the Google models perform with our questions so I'm going to go for two flash You've got the ability to change the temperature, the prompt for each one of these uh, different models. And then just here like that, you can just change any of this if you want to. But they're all using the same prompt right now. And you can see up here we've got sync. Now what that means is, is when I type in a question here, it will uh, automatically populate all of these windows and ask the same question to all of those AI models. So let's try that now. Um, what funnels do you sell? And there you go. You can see it's uh, testing out every single model all at once. And you can see how fast they are. You can see the quality of the responses. You can see Sonnet's coming in last there. But maybe you like the actual response the best. So this is going to make it so much quicker, so much quicker for you to be able to determine the best type of response from the best model. And then, of course, when you're happy and you're saying, yep, OK, I think that uh, actually GPT-40 Mini is the one for me, you're able to just go straight to your Tune AI and then select that particular model like so and then just save there. So that is going to save an awful lot of time. We also uh, you also can just use the chatbot right in here for yourself. You don't have to do any particular testing, but you can just use this area to use your chatbot. And then very soon we're going to be updating this whole area here and providing you with some more analytics and removing this chat window from here because we don't need it anymore. Now we've got our test your bot area. So that is the latest rounds of features and updates and improvements that we've made to the FastBots platform. We really hope you like them. Don't forget that we have our roadmap as well that you can uh, just head over to and, and put your suggestions in uh, for any updates or improvements that you would like to the platform. We're really just trying to make it the very best AI chatbot agent platform we can for you. And uh, you are the most important people, of course. Thank you very much for watching and I really hope you like these updates.